Unit 9, Section 3, the Great Depression. Now we're going to talk about causes and consequences of the Great Depression. One of the causes of the Great Depression was agricultural and industrial overproduction. During World War I, the United States enjoyed a near monopoly in industrial production and agricultural production. Here you can see a picture of women working in the industries. We talked about in a previous unit, the progressive era, that they earned the right to vote nationally uh, through their efforts in industries during World War I. Here you can see a picture of tanks being produced in an American manufacturing center. And the, the United States made a ton of money in the 1910s and early 1920s uh, in industrial production. At the same time, it also enjoyed a near monopoly in agricultural production. The problem with this is, is that in twofold, once the war was over, Europeans began to again compete with American farmers, but also because of the over farming during World War I and afterwards, in combination with dry, windy weather, um, led to a loss of topsoil in the Midwest, the areas of Oklahoma and Texas. And here you can see a dust storm where the topsoil is being blown away. Here's another picture of the result. This farm is totally destroyed by the moving of the topsoil and the introduction of large amounts of sand. This map shows you the center of the Dust Bowl in the states of Colorado, New Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas. A second cause of the Great Depression was underconsumption by consumers. This chart here shows you the gross domestic investments by Americans. Here's the date, 1929. And at the same time where American production chart had been showing an increase in the amount of production in the United States, as evidenced by this arrow here, you can see that the amount of products that Americans are buying declined sharply after 1929. This is a problem. When you see supply increase like this and you see demand go down like this, this is a major problem and this is the second cause of the Great Depression. The third cause of the Great Depression was unsound banking practices. Two of these, speculation and buying on margin, caused the Great Depression. First, let's take a look at speculation. Speculation is defined as buying stock on the chance of a quick profit. I liken this to buying lottery tickets. The more lottery tickets that are purchased, the more the lottery is worth. The more the lottery is worth, the more people go out and buy more tickets. During the 1910s and early 1920s, this is exactly what happened on the stock market. More and more people invested in the stock market to the point that this market became known as a bull market. This is a picture of the New York Stock Exchange on the day that the stock market actually crashed. This is a statue that's outside the New York Stock Exchange and this is the utopia of purchasing stock is that anybody who invests in the stock market wants what's called a bull market where prices are continuously going up. But as you know in economics, about every 10 years there's a downturn 10 to 20 years, there's a downturn in the American economy, and this happened on October 29, 1929, when stock markets uh, dropped drastically. The second cause of the stock market crash and the Great Depression was that investors were able to buy stock on margin. And what that means, and you can see the word capitalized here, is that investors could borrow up to 90% of the stock price 
before Black Tuesday. How did this lead to Black Tuesday and therefore the Great Depression? When stock prices started going down, the group that was on the hook were banks. Banks had loaned people money to buy stock with. When the stock prices started dropping, these banks called in their loans. People did not have the money to pay back the loans, so these loans went in default. Hundreds and thousands of banks across the United States closed. This is another reason for the Great Depression, and this concludes the lesson on Unit 9, Section 3, Causes and Consequences of the Great Depression.